What's up, peoples? It's a Terraformer, and I decided to do some SMWX testing things, um, partially inspired by Frizzeller's series for ASMBXT, which I guess to tell you a little about my SMBX history, I made three levels for that hack, a Super Mario Brothers Thing X, a prelude to the stupid. And before that, I made a few, like, um, you know, levels I didn't really use for anything. So I know the engine, like, somewhat-ish. Not, like, completely well-ish, but uh, enough that I could go through some levels, maybe give some advice, hopefully. You know, just have them be shown for, you know, people who want to see them and stuff. So here we have x uh, and is level, which I don't know how you'd say that, but the sunset completely overtakes the atmosphere. Alright, we got some pretty snazzy music going on. I never press F5, probably because I have to press function key and stuff, so yes, the sunset is already... I almost died in the first second. I figured you were of a friendly variety. Good, that's nice. If it was real, then maybe, but, you know, it's real to you, so let's see. We have a power up good, because, you know, it's, it's looking like we have a roto disc we have to jump over. Not much, um, oh, okay. Let's stare directly at the sun. <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> oh, it's like a generated, is it a bomb? What is it? I, I didn't time that very good well thing. Okay, so not really much to criticize about just yet. Should I go after the dragon coins? Well, you see how to get them. It's not really that needed, I suppose. Um, so yeah, this is, Oh, that one's not generated. Okay. So this is getting a little dangerous. Just go kind of do that and get your way through. Okay, yeah, that's a pretty weird setup. I guess I'll, I'll try for it. I'm not really safe too much, though, so I gotta... Um, almost died to get in there, but there we go. Okay, good, but I still died. Okay, not going <laughs> back after that. Just gonna watch out for the photos. Not, they're not photos, by the way, but I, I will call things by the wrong name sometimes. Usually on purpose, that was completely by accident. Yes, this is getting kind of tight. Slightly, well, it was already dangerous. Okay, so this is pretty cool length for the difficulty going on. <laughs> um, oh, oh, that was neat. That, that was pretty cool. I like that. Okay, stocking up on my fireballs. Yeah, I really wish I had more to criticize, but this is looking, like, really nice. But, what? <laughs> okay, that's kind of weird. I have no idea how you would get that dragon point, because it doesn't really seem to be anything going on. Yeah, uh -oh, uh -oh. be careful, because they are kind of attaching themselves. Yes, you are a thwomp. Okay, good. Good to know. I will be, um, like, cutting these episodes up, like, when I fail and have to go back. Um, I know Frizzell- I have no idea how to get that either. I know Frizzell leaves everything in, but I I'm too self-conscious for that sort of thing. Um, wow. I, I just barely avoided that. Okay. So, yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna guess these are all empty pipes. I, I usually have a habit of checking every single pipe for everything. Oh, it, it's the- oh, hmm. Is it the dangerous one? I have a feeling it's the dangerous one. Yeah, it's gonna be the dangerous one. No? Oh, maybe it's just the return. Like, yeah, okay. I don't know why I, I didn't just... Oh, that's nice that you left me out here. Because that would have been kind of risky to... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know exactly how I feel about pressing that switch, but it might just be for... Yes! The quirk about the engine I don't like is ducking in places like that, but I think I wasn't safe anyways. I wonder where this music is from. It's really fancy. Maybe like Wild Arms or something. They got like Western tunes going on. Yeah, I don't know how to do this. Should I have killed this with a Koopa? Can I do that in this engine? Okay, that's how you do that. I wonder why that falls. It looks kind of like it would continue on. Used to it. Oh. Oh, oops. Good. Good. Yes, we can. Okay. So we learn something new every day. Well, at least 
I do. I think this was as far as I got, so I can, like, start putting in some commentary of sorts in there. So yeah, okay, that was a really nice level. I wish I had more to construct, though, because it really, it, it felt nice. And, I don't know, maybe I would put it at about World 5 or 6, maybe. I'm not really sure, because, yeah, it, I don't know, it's it, fair, everything seemed pretty fair to me. I mean, the, like, this one thing, this, I don't know, maybe move this, like, a tile high or something, but you do provide a Koopa shell here, so it's not really that big of a deal. I still don't know how to get this, though. I kind of have no discernible idea. It has an arrow, so, uh, is there, like, a solution? No, it's just a level based upon suns. That, that's really awesome. You did a good job there. So this one's called A Vanilla Knight by Master Bros. And he's got zeros and fours in his name, so you know he's a professional ROM hacker. Oh no, I saw there was something here. I'm sorry I kind of cheated, but I couldn't really help it because the game's not, like, implemented and stuff. There's no overworld stuff. Do we have an overworld maker? Because I'd be interested in making one of them levels. Oh, I didn't do, like, my... I was going to say in the beginning I was taking time off from working so hard on my levels, but it was kind of also a somewhat of a lie, because I haven't done that much, unfortunately, but when you have three levels going on, I kind of go back and forth with my stuff. Whenever I have the ideas, I want to check that pipe, so do that. Okay, good. Nothing in there, but it's what I usually get when I check all the pipes, but then sometimes I get lucky and get, get a thing, so I've got Rexitors. Um, yes, they are in the vanilla game. I don't know why I thought they weren't. Probably because I'm using some sort of crazy Rex reskin for one of my levels. So that, that's pretty helpful and stuff. So yeah, this is pretty well nice, I guess. I, I, yes, it is. I, I don't guess, but I don't know. What? You can't slide kill those guys? I really would have thought you would. But some of the things that are really effective in Super Mario World, like... The cape spin, I've noticed, doesn't do exactly what it's being told, and it's kind of weird like that. I don't really know. That's that's kind of how it goes and works. Yeah, I I like I prefer to add like another leaf on them, just like the other guys. Or are they? Um, oh no, they're the red ones. Okay, yes. Never mind. I got confused there for a second. I don't think I'm gonna check all these boxes. Uh-oh. You got homing guys. When they're when you're above them, they will cower in fear. But when you're not above them, they will not. I've only recently learned this, and it wasn't by my own knowledge that. I wonder what's over here. Oh, well. <laughs> I guess I won't be finding out what's over there, or at least in this run, in case. Um. Yeah, I might be stuck. Huh. Well, um, yeah, it'll be quicker to just do this. Okay. Maybe now that I'm here, I'll check these blocks, because... Oh, okay, so we got a switch, too. It's kind of enough time... Not enough time to check all of them, but there's probably only coins anyway, so... Good, I got them. They kind of still, like, worry me, even though they're not really that threatening. Okay, good, I got this one moving now, so I could just kind of hang out here. And that one moves pretty quick away from you, so hopefully it'll come back at some point. Do -do 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 do do okay, I didn't have to fast forward that much, if anything. So what what do we have over here? Is this like a secret exit path? It's a side path of sorts. Let's check it out. What do you got to say? Okay, it's like a mirror image of what we just saw. So that's pretty Oh, okay. It's a little room. I wonder what's down there. I wonder if it's like part of the level or oh okay, that's the secret exit, I suppose. Or the is this a no that, that's not readable. I just saw it. Okay, cool. That was the, the secret um, exit, I'm guessing. I don't know, it didn't really say how many exits were in each, so I guess I could have missed one the other level, but I'm not sure. But now that I don't have my fireballs, I'm a tad feared of these people that are coming after me. Uh, oh, okay, they got my <laughs> good. <laughs> I was about to get hit there. Just go away. Just go away. Leave Mario alone. Oh crap. That this is kind of high for that kind of. Oh, I was not on top of you. Good 
playing there. <laughs> uh, well, uh, that's really all you can get. Oh, uh oh, there's another one. But there wasn't three last time. Oh boy. <laughs> They're scarier on this little platform as opposed to like actually. Oh crap, that was like, almost death. Oh no, don't. Because uh, they move away from you and then sometimes they, they like to do things that are kind of fearful for my life. I'm kind of almost there and when I make it. Uh, that, wow. <laughs> See, those are the kind of things I do. So now, that, wow. I thought I would be on top of that. Why didn't I just employ the strategy I did last time? It worked. Hooray, at least I got rid of one of them, but this one's gonna attack me from up high, and I'm just barely gonna dodge it. Okay, is there anything? Well, I could use the shell, so I don't know why I'm not. Yay, okay, good. Now we're now we're in the clear pretty much. I can I, I don't know how I feel about that, where they you get rid of them. Now there's no power-ups. This is kind of scary. Maybe I, I Well it's at the end oh crap. I don't know <laughs> how I feel about that, but there was enough opening for me to jump over it, but it feels kinda of, well the original game did it, what am I talking about? Okay, this one is by Dr. Tapeworm, and it's called Crystal Islands. This one looks fancyful. It's using some Rheingard graphics, I can tell because I use have, have the folder, but I haven't really used them much. Okay. Okay then. Yeah, so it is kind of weird we're underwater, but we're not. And I don't know what this is, but, but there's some water here where you can traverse it if we would like to. This music sounds really triumphant. There's an 8 there for some reason. I don't know why, but won't question it. Uh-oh, we got bullies. Bullies are kind of mean and frustrating, so not really frustrating, but they do hurt you and, like, well, the... Or wait, is there two sides of the bullies? Or yeah, I think there's two sides of them. And at least the bigger ones do actually do hurt you, so no, it's kind of confusing because you don't think of them to be the harmful ones if you played Super Mario World Hacks or the the the, the, the game they're actually from. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure we don't. Wow, I'm just jumping into enemies all over the place. So there's just some floating continents there, but this is not Final Fantasy VI at all, that's, that's sad. Usually I say the, the completely wrong thing, but I figure for, for this type episode I'll just do the right thing and say what I'm thinking. And is there anything in here? And now this is just to avoid the bully? Okay then. So now we gotta actually deal and manage, but he wasn't too much of a threat. Too much. Too much, so. Yeah, I really like the underwater graphics in like an outside level, but the background that is, I, I think it's pretty cool. Some of the, ooh, we got snowballs, I'm not sure why, but, and we also got Rainbow Disco Town to go into, we're gonna boogie it up. Oh, boogie notes. Okay, um... I have a feeling this is going to be one of those scrolly towns. Okay, that's good. Jeez, th these levels are, are like, I, I can't think of anything, like, really wrong with them. They're pretty good. And, yes, I... Uh, well, it's... I, I could probably hit it like that. Okay, well, there was nothing in it, so... Okay, we got one of these bullet sections. Let's see how it fares. Okay. But I can't really climb with it, so I question mark that. That's well, I could actually. I kind of was taught ways of um, <laughs> playing a certain hack that you can just kind of do that. And, well, not a hack, but it's kind of required for a level that is kind of difficult. And it's kinda, like, I wonder if it's required here, or if it's just like really helpful, or if it was designer intent. Um, yes. You're, you're throwing bombs. That's confusing. Okay, go away. No, I cannot get rid of you. Are you friendly? I am kind of curious. Well, maybe not that curious. Oh, I want that. 
and of course I would fall completely down to my face. Okay, uh, let's, let's maybe forget about this if I don't make it up again. Okay, good, I did. On my first try, too. I wonder if I was small if I could get into that pipe. I'm not really sure if that's a possible. Yeah, but... Uh, okay. <laughs> you were just standing there, and I got confused. Okay. I don't know, can I take this with you? No, I cannot. Can I take this with you? But I, I get another one anyway. Can I, can I destroy the bullies? Yes, I can. Oh, that's cool, I guess. I, I didn't really recognize, realize that was a factual thing to do because, you know, I haven't seen the combination of these two things going on. Okay. I want you, yeah, I want you to go away. Now we're utilizing it to the fullest potential where we got these guys. And this is a pretty neat section. Just gotta be kind of careful. I might as well just stay in this little place before I, I move on and oh crap. <laughs> um, I, can I? No, I'm gonna have to get rid of this bottom row. Okay, that that's fair enough. But, yeah, I'm just gonna be careful. Okay, good. And doesn't seem... Oh, I can if I really want it to. It's probably a power-up or something. I don't really especially need it. Now, waterfalls are something that I tend to have an issue with because... Okay, good. They're... It's swimmable. Can I... Okay, good. I can swim with it, with this thing. Because some, like, they'll, they'll have it, the waterfall once and they'll have it... it like, in the same level, nonetheless, they'll have it one time as background tile, and then again as not background tile, so... You know what, forget this. The, it's not even worth it. I showed it's possible, and I don't need to do it again. And that, yeah, we got bomb generator. And it provides me another one. Okay, so the guy didn't really know about that possible glitch type thing going on, and I bet, you know, you could probably do something similar like crazy hacks do, like, <laughs> like, I don't know, you, you could do something pretty crazy with that, but I'm getting way ahead of myself, because that, that's probably wouldn't fit into a hack like this, but, you know, that, that's just my, how my mind works, and it has also nothing to do with the level we're playing, and I'm like LPing this level a lot. Yeah, I forgot that doesn't work, but... Yeah, I'm sorry if this turns more into an LP, because I just don't really have that much to criticize about. And, it, like, it's it's good. It, it, I have to collect the coin, because that's how you activate things in the game. You usually put them as coins. So we got the elevator part of the section. I actually, like, I would kind of, I'm, I'm kind of thinking, well, maybe this will prove me wrong, but, like, in the beginning of the stage, it kind of felt a little, a tad too easy with this thing going on. I have to make sure I hit this. Oh, what? Oh, because I have to shoot it. I'm kind of a moron like that sometimes. Sorry. <laughs> sometimes the hitbox of these things are kind of finicky. That That's not a power is there another one provided? So this would probably be pretty tough getting past there with the bullet thing, so maybe I, I just meant the first half. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be a power-up in this section, which kind of frightens me. So I have a criticism now. I can say that there is no power-up in this section. So there, there's one in the whole episode. How'd you get up there? Kinda, oh, okay. I should have known, but it's just for a dragon coin. Wow, I almost got crushed there. So is there anything going to be in my face if I stand here? Not sure, not seeing anything. Oh, crap. This is going to be something. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Crap, get in the... Yeah, I didn't have enough time to get in the middle. Might be able to get away with... No. Okay, I can just do that. And then the, the, that comes with me. That's pretty neat, actually. Oh, crap. There's a whole bunch of them. But I can just kind of get rid of them, like so. And then get our way through. The, yeah, it, this definitely <laughs> needs a power-up or two. Um, yeah, so 
Okay, so these are gonna be coming with me for the ride, but I don't really have my spin jump because I'm babysitting this because I'm not sure if I'm going to need that. So, minor, minor thing, but, you know, it, it's already over with, so that doesn't really matter too much, or at least that section that is. So let's just be careful because I'd rather stay alive at this point. And, okay, there's the exit, but there's also a pipe, and I don't know how I feel about that, but I'll get to that when we get to it. Let's see, how do I... Okay. Alright, so we got two pipes. One is leading I don't know where, and the other one's leading also to places unknown. So, let's see, can I um, make my way into either of them, being kind of afraid? Um... No, they're both- oh, okay. Because I, I thought there was going to be a secret exit in the pipe, and I was going to kind of yell at you, because I'm not really too big of a fan of, um, you know, secret exits when they're right at the ends like that for not really much reason. I think I explored everything. So yeah, that was a, that was a pretty neat level. I felt um, the halves were a little um, kind of just jointed, if you will. Because this one seemed fairly easy, and the other one uh, was kind of pretty tricky, actually. Let's um, bring some of this more level up, uh, just in case I missed anything, in case there was a secret exit somewhere. But yeah, I felt it was nice. I felt um, I felt in the first half the, the gimmick with the gun... I don't know, it didn't really seem to do much. I pressed, like, one switch. And the second half, there was no power-up to be had. And for that that section, it was pretty long. And I, I do like this. That, that's pretty neat. I, I like that. But, um, yeah, just, just put in a power-up. Um, I don't know. I guess just, like, in the first half, if you want to give out guns, just... I guess just make it more, like, of a thing. Yeah, there's no exit thing enabled there, but there is stuff over here. How would I get to this? What is this? Did I... Is this something that I saw or experienced, or is this just kind of, like, what you're working on or something? Yeah, I don't know what this is, but... It exists, and it's here, and you can see it if you view the level. So, where would I rank it? I, you know, I'm pretty e good at just putting levels at world 5 or 6, but this one felt more of a 3 or 4. It could probably even pass as a 2, if you, depending on what the other levels are looking like. And the level before that, the Vanilla Knight, um, I'll, I'll say that as, like, a World 1 or 2 level. Even though it had the homing Koopas, it was pretty short, and it went pretty quickly. Um, you know, Sunset was, um, fairly, like, had some fairly tricky sections, um, despite the length. But, you know, I'm always down, like, I like, like, shorter levels with difficulty, and, but, but I know lots of people like the longer levels, and they're pretty cool, too, just... Just as long as they don't um, drag on at all. And this one felt pretty, pretty nice length. I, I like the length of this level and felt it to be fairly well. I know I didn't go after the dragon coins, but eh, that, that shouldn't be really too required, I guess. I don't know. So did I do all right? Please construct my criticism of criticism of levels, because you know that's how how I roll, I suppose. So yeah, good job, everybody, all the levels I played, nothing was too major. Um, maybe, like, uh, uh, I don't know. I, I don't know how to say certain things without... Uh, but, you know, that, that's my that's my spiel. I'll do, like, three levels a thing, possibly not every day, but, at, like, every other day or something. I don't know, but see you all for that.